Tell us exactly what is resource incompatibility. What does that mean? And why is it that 95% of women probably have this? Is that correct? Um, no. Okay. 95% Nigerian. of Nigerians are resource D positive. Okay. Okay. And that means that they have a blood protein that is called the resource factor. Okay. Okay. So majority of us, um, 19 out of every 20 people have, the have, this, have, have this protein. One out of every 20, that's the 5%, lacks this protein. Mm. Okay? So when a woman who lacks this protein is now exposed to this protein and can be exposed through, through mechanism in pregnancy or through blood transfusion. Does it cause a miscarriage? It most commonly causes a stillbirth. Stillbirth. A stillbirth. Okay? okay. And um, what we would eventually re result in what we call recurrent fetal loss. Okay, the woman will be losing her baby continuously. Continuously has ar around the third trimester. Okay. Ah. Uh, so around the seventh, eighth month or nine months, if she is not managed properly. Okay. So this is usually one of the results of resource incompatibility. So when I saw this this morning, I was a bit confused. I, I tried to read it last night, but I didn't understand whatever it is till your explanation. I have a family member right now who just was in the hospital for about 14 days because of this. They said, according to doctors, that the antibodies were beginning to fight the baby. She was developing antibodies to fight the baby. So this is exactly the case because I know she's a negative and the husband is a positive. Now, what do you advise young people getting married? I would like to start from there. Is it that if you are a negative in your blood group, you shouldn't marry somebody that is positive? positive. Well, not at all. <laughs> you shouldn't? No, not at all. You should. Okay. As I said, 95% of the population mm -hmm. is resource positive. positive. So, so who will you marry? Who will you marry? <laughs> no, no, the resource positive, that's O positive. Yes. Uh, o positive, A positive, A positive, B positive. But what's the negative, that's what I'm saying. Yes. So, so, so what, 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 what we have to understand mm -hmm. is that you need to be sensitized mm. okay. before you form antibodies. Mm. So the simple solution to resource incompatibility and the resultant resource disease is to prevent sensitization. Okay, so how do we prevent sensitization? Um, a young woman should know her blood group. Okay. Okay. Basic. Once she identifies that she's resource negative, negative, then she has to prevent sensitization during the course of her pregnancy. And also in the course that she has to receive blood transfusion, it mm. has to be well um, emphasized that she's resource negative, she can't be exposed to anything resource positive. So positive. Allow me dramatize a bit. <laughs> Please, because I hear this thing and I'm just just I'm just getting to understand the witch woman killing her own babies. Mm. The witch auntie who look at you and when you are in your last trimester yeah. killing your babies. Yeah. The in fact it's just making sense because what we do not understand, we give a tag in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. We do yeah. not research and understand. I'm just shocked. So a, a young woman, for instance, now who never knew her nature and her husband's nature in their blood group and all that, never bothered, would of course fall into this position and then blame everything I know, around. I know, they'll say it's a big cool because ah, your yeah. child keeps dying, dying over and over and over. And over. Still still so they'll keep thinking that, oh, mm. you're the one eating your children. Yes, you now, let's come to you, madam. Yes. yes, now, it's always good to get knowledge and to find knowledge. But now that we have this knowledge, what are we doing to push it out there so that people know? Mm. Because if you're in that, if you're in that um, 5%, 5 5 yeah. it's important you have that information. Mm -hmm. So that when you're even getting, because when you're getting married, you're at least you're, you're clear on what the options are. We'll come to you on the, the solution. But what are you doing to help us push this message out there? Yes, that is where Resource Solution Initiative is coming in. We've been sending out lots of awareness. We have um, materials, awareness materials, and we've been partnering with a lot of organizations to ensure that we send out awareness. We go to schools, you know, secondary schools, we've been able to reach out to over 400 schools, and we go to communities, and um, we go uh, to no Cancrinis in Lagos, even beyond Lagos, Ogun State or your state, and far beyond to send the awareness. Because the key thing is the awareness. Once you know, mm. because I'm actually, I happen to be very fortunate to have known my own resource status when okay. I was very young. Okay. Mm. So that equipped me, and by the grace of God, I'm able to have Now, if you give babies. me, so imagine yeah. I'm O negative, for example. I am young, I'm 14, I'm, no, I'm, I'm 21 years old, I'm thinking of getting married. 
what would you be, be what, would, what would be your advice to me at this moment yeah so we go back to how do we how do girls or ladies become sensitized mm -hmm. you get sensitized when you are exposed to uh, resource positive blood so during the course of pregnancy if a lady young lady gets to have a miscarriage gets to have an abortion mm -hmm gets to have a procedure during the pregnancy. Anything that leads to what we call fetal maternal hemorrhage. That means the baby's blood leaking into the mother's system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the mother gets exposed. And then she develops the antibody that will start to fight, fight, fight mm -hmm. any future pregnancy hey. babies that she gets. Hey, so okay? if, if, so if, those, that, those are the instances of sensitization. So the information should come from when you become sexually active. Exactly. So that mm. you, you prevent it even before you get married. Because some exactly. people in marriage now already have the problem the antibodies. antibodies. Yeah.